Yeah, it was really good. Let me see if I can get this thing working right. This has to be at the perfect angle to work. Yeah, I have one of those too. I mean, it's catching it, but it's like, I don't want it to give like a too slow or too fast number. Are you ready for this one? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey, thanks for clicking the video. I'm here with Dr. Alan Nisipini from University of Idaho, and he is an expert at the mental game of all different kinds of sports, but really has honed in on golf. And a lot of people on Be Better Golf have contacted him and uh, he's become quite popular. I, if you've seen on my channel before, I, if you look through my whole channel, you'll see zero videos before about a week ago about the mental game of golf, something that I always thought was kind of a waste of time because I, like I thought like, okay, well, if your swing is not controlling the ball, then I thought of a mental game of golf was kind of like plotting your way around the course, like go this way, go that way. But uh, the stuff that I've been doing with Dr. Allen has been really eye-opening. And Alan, when we were talking on the Skype uh, a week and a half ago or so, you said that there's a certain way that we could maybe take the governor off of a golf swing and you might be able to like, like I always thought of myself as like, okay, like a 115 or 116 swing speed, that would be really fast for me. And starting to get into like the almost 120, that would be like starting to get like unreasonable and anything above that would be like, that would just be a different person. You might kind of be limiting yourself score wise, speed wise or putting wise or anything just before you even get out of the gate. Yeah, so, so for example, a, a car has a governor on it and uh, or a golf cart or anything where the speedometer might go up to 140 but it might only let you go to 110 and so yeah. the body's made that way as well that the the system puts these you know sometimes they're safety but a lot of times what they are is these preconceived notions of well if i swing harder than this this happens and so when you're doing speed training the first thing you need to do is get the speed after that, then we start worrying about controlling the direction or changing the direction of it. But you can't be worried about the result of the speed. And so in order to take the governor off, you have to be willing to sacrifice accuracy in the training session. Yeah, you get like the speed. Like that. All right, what do you want to see first? Uh, just let's just try take a couple driver swings and see what you got for baseline. All right, so with no ball or with a ball or what do you think? Uh, with a ball. Okay, now uh, effort-wise, should I do like an on-course swing or should I do like, okay, I'm really trying to hit a hard swing? Hit now uh, two on-course and then two full, full board. Okay, okay. Might not be a huge difference anyway, but I'm just wondering. Okay. Okay, 113. Yeah. Yeah. That's straighter. 114. Okay, now I'll try the two that are like on the more, don't care where they go, more extreme speed part. Oh, 120. All right, so just to see me, hopefully that wasn't a fluke. But I, I guess I can put the idea that it was a fluke into the bucket and throw that away. <laughs> oh, I killed that ball. Yeah, 120 again. So the one thing I would say based on our last session is yeah, when you, you do that- when One you, minute you, removed yeah. from doing, right. When you, when, you, uh, when you load that back leg, load it without drifting quite so much. But that looks so good. I mean, you're, you're really getting through the ball there. Okay, so, so what is a way that people, if they're on their own, they see this video, that they can start to maybe even like have this video playing in headphones or whatever when they're on the range, which is I really recommend to do just in general. Um, like what's like kind of like a book on tape way to see how fast you could actually be? As you think about hitting the ball, how does it feel when you think about hitting the ball uh, at 105? Okay, how does 105 feel? Okay. 105. Easy. Okay. 108. Pretty easy, but you know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I have to do a little something, but it's still pretty easy. Okay, so now you take that first one, you get a little hiccup, 
And you take yeah. all those things that you're feeling and thinking and remembering and put all that into the bucket. Yeah, for me, I can feel like I'm going to have to start doing a little bit of like a right arm punching kind of feeling. I just felt that. Yeah. So I can exactly. just put that in the bucket. Yeah. yeah. And what I felt from you is that, oh, boy, I need to start getting my sequence proper in order to be able to do that. Like, I can do 105 yeah. in my sleep, but 108, I need to start sequencing better. Oh, well, just a little bit, yeah. So I can put that in there. Yeah. So you take all that and you throw that out and then take a deep breath. And then you go back to that number for you. So think about it. What's that feel like? Yeah, do uh, yeah. Like uh, that'll happen. That'll okay. just happen. Okay. Yeah. So that's clear. There's no thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensation, other than yeah, what about it? Okay. So now you're clear right. to the next jump. And so let's go one eleven. Mm -hmm. And so there's a little hiccup there. What did that feel like? Yeah, I started thinking about my feet a little bit, you know, on the way through, having to like kind of torque a little bit or something like that, you know. All the things yeah. you have to manipulate, because you can't naturally do that. So put all that in the bucket. Okay. And what we're not saying is that you can't do any of that. We're saying that you shouldn't need to think that you have to do that. Because if you can't be an all-star in your head, you get no shot in life. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we want to get to the point where I say 111, you're like, what about it? Like, I don't feel anything. It's just like a non-factor. Yeah. Okay, so think about 111 again and see what that feels like. All right. Yeah, just another, just another number. That's all. Okay. So now, let's go to 114. Okay. Okay. What's that feel like? Just get off course swing. Not, not really anything. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of just I got some some confirmation about that a second ago, so it doesn't feel too difficult that that would happen. Okay. Now one seventeen. Mm, okay, one seventeen. The first thing I felt when you say that, when you say 117, I start to feel a little bit of pride, really, that that, that would be a normal number now, you know, whereas it wouldn't have been before. Yeah, and there's a reason they say pride cometh before the fall. So as soon as you yeah. start feeling like, oh, that would feel really good, that means that it doesn't feel really good yet. So put all that in the book. Right. Like all the things like, uh oh, I got to get a little quicker. Put all that on there. Chuck all that. This is just taking the governor off. And so you can go up by threes, you can go up by fives, but you're just thinking, okay, once it's clear, I have no thoughts, feelings, emotions, or sensations. It's just like, what about it? Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, I need more direction in order to figure out what to think about this. That's when you can yeah. move on to the next increment. 120. It feels a lot more relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now think about 125. Okay. What does that feel like? The only thing that that, but I mean, the first thing I think of, kind of like when we did this before, is like that that would be that would be a new high for me. So I think 123 or 124 is the highest I ever did. So that would be like that would that would be like uh, something I would want to try to get to, <laughs> you know. So there's a little okay. bit of trying there. So yeah. take all that trying. Uh huh. Yeah, and and chuck that. No need to try. Yeah. No try. Got it. Yeah. There you go. And now um, see what 125. Yeah, a lot more neutral. A lot more. Yeah. You just see it come up, and it it, it would feel like the same thing as if I hit a putt and it and it was and i was on a machine and a certain uh, you know read out a number or not it wouldn't really mean anything to my manhood or anything like that it would just be a number right okay so now 130 and so take that idea long drive that puts me in a different category all that stuff and chuck that okay 130 135 okay well then 
<laughs> yeah, now, yeah, now, now I'm thinking of Kyle Berkshire. There's like maybe like four, four to eight people in the yeah. world that could do 150. So that's starting to feel. Okay, so that's let's clear it at 150. This is why yeah. we're going to do this. We're going to clear it at 150 because this is what it's like to take the governor off. So it doesn't mean that you're going to hit it at 150. It just means that you're not artificially creating these set points that are be limited. Right. Okay. Now before you take your next swing, we've taken the governor off. Now I want you to see what you think that would feel like to swing at 130 miles an hour. What does it feel like in your body? Okay. I mean, to me, that, that would just feel very free and very um, coiled and limber both ways, you know, and really energized, you know. Yeah. 130 would feel. That feeling and bring yeah. that feeling through your head and your neck and your shoulders. I'm feeling 130, easy 130. Through your arms, yeah, yeah, like I'm hitting 130 and wasn't even anything to me. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Through your trunk and down your sides and down your legs, feel the ground coming into you to support you. There mm -hmm. you go. And let it radiate out off of you all the way to infinity and then back to you. Okay. okay. Now, last thing is, I want you to imagine being able to swing. What would it feel like to be able to swing at the speed of light? You try, you try to okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can feel like I, I you know, kind of think in colors, kind of sometimes, like we were saying the other thing. And it's just like a bright white flash, the, the the speed of light. Yeah, that's that was that that would be like a, a zipper. Yeah, just like ripping the universe, for like a a quick kind of like it, it makes it those. Uh, those uh, Japanese anime movies with the uh, the guy unsheaths his sword and like he put five slices into something. So that makes me think of that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. So just uh, do your pre-shot routine. So stand in back of it and kind of. Mm -hmm. Now you're thinking fast, like easy, okay. smooth. Yeah. Speed of light. Have to be more. You like to feel totally sequenced at the speed of light. Yeah. yeah. There you go, 121. What did that feel like? I felt more synced back and through, rather than like a certain effort this way and then another certain effort this way. It felt like the effort was all the time during the whole swing. Okay, so think about that sequenced speed of light. Uh, 147 is what the machine says. <laughs> okay, we'll call it a day. No. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think that was that was probably a... now hit your gamer. Time. Okay. Yeah. Right. So here's. Yeah. See right away. So I'm like gamer, and I was thinking like, okay, what speed do I expect out of this? So that's why I had to back out of it. Yeah, you can still go speed of light. You're thinking, well, I'm not gonna rush it. I'm just gonna do speed of light. Oh yeah. Right. The, the sun doesn't think it's cool using the speed of light. It's just it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, real straight drive, and uh, yeah, it says it says 148. So there's there's it's I don't it's not in the right spot somehow. <laughs> Unless that's in Kilton, no. But that was a really good drive. Yeah, it looked good too. It looked like yeah, speed of light, but like sequenced, you know. So I can I feel like now I can go really fast yeah, without okay. really any any extra tr like try hardness. That's right. I can go really fast and in sequence and just. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I've 
I've destroyed my machine because now it says 154. So there, it's, 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 something went wrong with it. Look out, Kyle Berkshire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. So, okay, so we're just about out of time, time on the, uh, the card here, Alan. So I th uh, give me just uh, 15 seconds or so about how people should be thinking about creating speed. Yeah, the first thing is just take off all of the, the parameters that you have on it and all the feelings that stopped before that. And then once you do that, then you try to find a thought that feels good, like the speed of light, the speed of sound, whatever that feels like to you, like super easy and connected. Because as soon as you take the parameters off, there's going to be the feeling like, oh, I don't know if my body can handle that. That's why you got to get the feeling back into the body of what would it feel like to do it so easy, so fast. No thought. Right. All right, great. You guys can contact Dr. Allen through his email, which is on the screen right now, or uh, through his website, which is on the screen right now. And also click uh, subscribe and comment any uh, uh, thoughts or other things that you would like to see with Allen or anybody else on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Okay, great. Thanks, Alan. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was good. And, and so that's not something you should have to do a lot. That's like a one and done thing. Unless you're like, oh, I'm, I'm starting to feel plateaued again. Let me just check to make sure that it hasn't creeped back on. Yeah, let me let me see if I can get this thing to. Yeah. To actually. But your swing, like if you look, if you watch it back, it looks so smooth and free right now. Yeah, 118. Yeah, what's interesting too is that before, I mean, you could even see like well, at the beginning of the video, I said like, okay, I'm going to hit two that are like golf course and then two hard as possible. But now there doesn't really seem to be that much of, of a difference between golf course and hard as possible because it's just like, it's just the tempos may be a little different, but it's not, it's not like the effort of one or the other is, is kind of equal. Yeah. How are they going? How are they flying? All those super, all the fastest ones, like those ones where it wasn't reading it right, were, were dead straight. Right. And the ones that are like medium fast were, were kind of glancing or like off to the right or left. Okay. But also like I, I'm pretty sure like I was hitting, there's a pro here, I was hitting his driver earlier today because I hit my driver terrible when I played yesterday. And I think my, my driver's not right for me at all. Because like I, I hit it like dramatically worse than my other clubs, and it's only 62 grams, and I think it's a little weak for me or something, especially now that I'm a little faster. Because it's yeah. just it, it's really hard to, and because I was hitting his like my misses were still straight. This one like the misses hits really big shape. Okay, so speed of light, and a good sequence. So take a practice swing and see what that feels like. What speed of light feels like. You can even do it on the mat just to see what that feels like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. You know what I really like there is that you went back and looked at the target just before you did it. You, like, you got back focused down range. Yeah. Which is so much better than being focused in back of you. Oh, yeah. Like when I'm looking at my club head. Yeah. The... yeah that was way better. <sighs> Oh, that was killed. See, it's not, it goes beyond, like, whenever I get into, like, the above, I think, like, 123 or 24, it yeah, starts to it say starts a crazy number. It start, yeah, it starts to say a crazy number. So that's at 149. Yeah. So so, so when you and, look at and that. And this thing, you can see, I have it, because people accuse, this, sometimes if I put up 120, like, they'll say, oh, it's catching the ball. I have this thing at the right angle. This is no, not. I, I guarantee it's, you it's that good, was. So. That was over 125. I guarantee that you. one. That one felt fast. Like I, I feel like I can, like I can get the correct kind of driver energy yeah. when I'm. Like, I couldn't see. I couldn't see your club. Like I was watching to see if you released it. I couldn't see your club. Like it was right. like. 
like because you know like before i was saying like i was getting more relaxed but then i didn't have like the positive energy to keep it from being sloppy that's so right what's helping me is like if i'm here and i i do want to hit one of the speed of light with like a lot of positive relief i'm starting like kind of feel like i'm standing there like a just like breathing fire uh-huh and getting like really like ex- like kind of amped up to do something positive with it so it's, it's nothing that i'm going to try to do technically but i'm, I'm kind of feeling that fire breathing kind of like a uh, energy like a volcano <sighs> One thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm so telling you, I, I, it's so yeah, fast. I, I, yeah, so I, the, the next I'll have to get on an actual track land or something because I think I'm just peeking out on this this thing. Yeah, well, that's good news, but I mean, I mean, that, that's really good. Um, no, that's good.